Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we're going to show you how you can reset Safari browser if you have problems going on the internet. Now, one of the common uh, problems that I've seen on my channel is that on the video where I talk about how to fix uh, Wi-Fi problems on Macs, um, a lot of people said, well, it's cool, it worked, but there are a certain number of people that said, okay, now I'm connected, but my browser, my Safari browser doesn't go on the internet. So one thing that you can do is reset Safari if it doesn't work well. Um, maybe you went on the web, got some toolbars that installed, got all sorts of little things that change the way Safari works and you want to get it back to how it was when you got your Mac. So there's a way to reset Safari and it's quite easy. So all you have to do is click on your Safari browser icon, which is that... Um, icon from Safari right there at the bottom which um, looks like a compass and uh, go into Safari on the upper left side of the screen and there you'll see a little way down reset Safari and here is what it's going to do it's gonna clear the history so uh, if you went on a lot of websites it's all gonna disappear it resets the top sites removes all web page preview images that were uh, set and recorded on your computer resets all location warnings removes website data so if you have passwords stored in Safari that are automatic or usernames you'll lose that information you'll have to enter it again removes save names and passwords remove autofill form text so everywhere uh, where you enter text and it fills the text for you because you already went there that's gonna uh, stop clear the download list so all the uh, download the files that you downloaded from the web uh, that list is going to be reset and it closes the Safari window so all you have to do is just click reset and as soon as you do that it will restart Safari so it's gonna shut down and restart your Safari browser and hopefully it's going to be put back to its state of working order that you had before and um, hopefully it fixed any problems that you might have had on Safari um, for Mac. Uh, one little word of caution here, if you uh, still don't have a working Safari browser and you see that you're connected to the internet, one thing that you should try is uh, installing um, Chrome or a Firefox browser you might want to uh, get for example Firefox uh, on another computer put it on a, the install file on the USB key plug it in your uh, Mac and install Firefox for example and try if it works with Firefox so that's uh, another little uh, detail that you can try if you can surf the web with Firefox but cannot surf the web with Safari and there's something wrong probably with Safari itself uh, but try this reset option remember where to go Safari reset Safari and just click that little reset at the bottom right of your window and hopefully everything's back in working order and you will have a working Safari it also fixes problems like um, Safari browser closing um, because of an error of some sort of a problem it also fixes uh, a lot of uh, sluggishness so if your Safari browser is slow you might want to reset it it's uh, going to take out all those um, settings and all those toolbars and options that you might have changed with time and it might restore it back to uh, its original speed so hope it helped um, if you enjoy our videos please subscribe you'll be informed when new videos are online maybe you have a Mac or PC or iOS tip trick or problem that you want us to talk about let us know and we'll try to put that video online 
And if you have any comments or questions, let us know. We will try to answer any questions if possible. It's not always easy to answer a question. Uh, since we're not in front of your computer, it's not always uh, easy to understand what could be wrong. And uh, hopefully you'll come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.